Tonight, Atlanta News First political reporter Doug Reardon is live at five from the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. And Doug, major names in Georgia politics, they are there, but the grandson of former President Jimmy Carter now making headlines. That's right. He took his place on the stage last night for an address to this very large crowd here in Chicago. And the nation's 39th president's grandson uh, said something very poignant. And he told us again this morning when we got a chance to speak with him that his grandfather, Jimmy Carter, never measured his success by the races that he won or the offices that he held, but by the people that he helped. He says that is why it is so important that people vote for Kamala Harris because she holds those same values. And of course, Carter is still in hospice care, has been for 18 months in his hometown of Plains, Georgia. Georgia. Jason Carter told us again today that his grandfather is fighting to make it to November 5th so he can cast a ballot for the Harris Walls ticket. He was actually heavily criticized by Trump when that news came out. Uh, the former president, uh, Trump that is, took to uh, his true social social media site and called Carter the second worst president uh, in the nation behind Joe Biden. But Jason Carter said today it is that type of language that becomes dangerous and is all the more important. Uh, his grandfather told him that people vote for this Harris Walls ticket. She also is putting regular people at the center of the economic story, at the center of the campaign, instead of it being about sort of, you know, her rich friends, more about not her problems, but about your problems. And I think that's really a Jimmy Carter way of looking at the world, right? And Jimmy Carter is also a big supporter of Minnesota Governor and VP nominee Tim Walz. Walz, in just a few hours, is going to get up there, take the stage, and give his acceptance speech on day three of the Democratic National Convention. We're live from Chicago tonight. Doug Reardon, Atlanta News First.